Hello everyone, I'm Sina and welcome to my channel Sina Draws. And this is the second episode of Leroy Lettering Set Overview. And if you haven't seen it yet, I really suggest watching the first episode before. In this video, we will first discuss the variety of letters that can be achieved by setting the angle of the scriber or by changing the pens. And then we will move to the second tool which is the slant and height control scriber. And all the abilities and different angles and height of letters that can be achieved via it will be discussed. Okay, so please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And without further ado, let's start. For better comparison, in this whole video and with both standard and the slant and height control scriber. Only the template number two alongside the pen number two, as you see here. And the pen number four, uh, as I'm showing you both beside each other, will be used. For writing the words on the left, the standard scriber in combination with different angles and the two option of pens that were already mentioned were used alongside the template number two as already mentioned and for the words written on the right the slant height scriber alongside only the pen number two and the same template were used and as for the ink this orange acrylic ink were used well, the standard scriber was explained comprehensively in the last video, so I'm not going to talk any further about it. But some samples of lettering done using it will be shown here. But the main subject of this video, as said before, will be this slant height control scriber. And if you put it beside the standard scriber, you will witness it actually follows the same concept. The same tracer pin, the same pen holder hole, the same tail pin. But what is actually different here is that you have complete control over height as written on this axis here and slope degree as written on the other axis there. The angle can be changed from 45 to 0 on the left axis, as I'm showing you here. And the height can be changed from 60% to 150%. And for example, if you set the device on this little circle here with the number 100% beside it, the output letter will have the same height as the template you're using. And by sending the tool to anywhere below that 100% point, the height can be reduced all the way up to 60%. And by setting it into the opposite direction, it can be increased up to 150%. Which means the height of the letters on the template can be increased up to 50% or one and a half time. And also the angle can be changed from zero which is actually the angle to the perpendicular line up to 45 degrees. And for example, if it's set to 30, it means the angle between your letter and the perpendicular line is 30 degrees. And on this scriber, two standard points are pointed using two little circles. The first one is this point here on the right, that if you set the tracer circle on it, it means you're going to achieve exactly the standard size of the letter written on the template with perpendicular or 90 degrees angle. And if you set it on the second smaller circle, just like what I'm doing here. As you see, the height is 100%, which means the exact height of the template. 
but the angle is 22.5 which is actually the standard angle of italic leathers so you have two reference points one for italic leathers and the other for standard leathers but obviously you're not limited to these two only options and you can easily change between variety of options from 0 to 45 degrees or 60% up to 150%. For example, if you take this 15 degrees axis as example, which means 15 degrees to perpendicular line, and trace it all the way to the second junction to this point, it means your leathers are going to be drowned with about 80% of standard height and about 15 degrees angle. Okay, now it's time for some practical samples. First, the standard scriber will be used and then we will switch to a slant height control scriber. <laughs> Okay, and as for the box and how to set this scriber back into the box, as you see there is a groove inside the box similar to the shape of the body and two holes for the tracer pin and tail pin. And by finding those two holes and aligning the body with the groove, the tool will sit inside the box properly. And don't forget to tighten the main screw. As for the other future videos, there will be a complete video about the evolution of technical pens. And also, there will be a comprehensive comparison between different technical pens, considering their weak and strong points, build quality, fineness of the nib, and other features. And also a complete review of fine liners or disposable technical pens, addressing different aspects of each one. And also a comprehensive overlook of engineering compasses, 
comparing their precision and build quality. And there will be the same video about lead holders, like this fantastic one from Bohemia, or like this vintage Faber Castell. From 2mm to 5mm lead holders, considering different leads available for them, and the different use of those leads. And next will be a video about rare engineering tools like this hatching ruler. And even if you take a look at previous videos, you're going to find some fantastic ones like this one about pelican or rotaring graphus, which you will definitely find quite useful. Okay. Many thanks for staying tuned and watching the whole video up to here. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And have a nice day.